So here with another demo that is called the Mermaid Stonk. Uh, so this game is to come out. It says 2024. Uh, so let's see if it comes out or not. Uh, this is a point and click uh, game with a little bit of visual novel. Uh, so this game is developed and published by SFB Games, and it was shown on uh, Day of the Devs, if I'm not mistaken. I think it was there. So let's delete. Uh, delete. So if you like point and click games, you're probably going to enjoy this one. And of course, visual novel. You cannot forget about visual novel. It's the case file. The reason we're here. It was left for us right here on the bar. Open. Read. For the tactic grimoire. A murder victim, Captain Magnus Mortuga, 39. Location, Illusion Theater, Mortuga Submarine. Mortuga had locked himself in the room. It was later forced to open and the body was discovered. Mortuga was found alone, laying on his back, with a single cut across his throat. No blood the apple of any kind was found in this room. The Illusion Theater is mostly empty, save for an ancient stone cauldron with a thick metal lid. The purpose of this cauldron is unknown. However, I am informed that it has never been unlocked before. It is now unlocked. It is now open. Signed, Captain Seafoam, Captain of the Mortuga Submarine. Captain Seafoam. As far as I know, that's who hired us. And who left the case file here in the end. But where are they now? Sally, what do you think? Mm. Great contribution. Sally, if you belong to m me... There's nothing written on to the uh, I'm sure they were once filled with some kind of... To our agency, you need to wake up. Whale. Barstools. The wood is rotting, so I've strategically chosen not to sit on them. Fishing trips. On board the dearest Selina. I'm guessing that's the name of the ship. Enquire with Felicia Stone Top at the bar, or with Sylvia Seafoam at the harbor. It's a painting of a sea serpent. Wait, is it a serpent if it has legs? What do you think, Sally? <sighs> ah, thanks for clearing that up. A crab. You know, just in case anyone missed the overt nautical theming. Nobody's cleaned the floor in a while, or perhaps ever. Tell it's some book Sally's been reading. She insisted that we bring it with us, although I'm not sure why. Hex on Helm Hellman's Man. All right, the paper novel belongs to Sally to below. It looks to be an article fantasy adventure. There's a photograph of a well-dressed man on the inside cover. Something terrible awaits you in the dead. Will you face it? He sees it in his dreams. He sees it when he closes his eyes. He cannot escape. But what it is it? Renowned Hellsman Marcus Mordum is a man with singular purpose. He will not rest until he uncovers the truth of what really hiding beneath the waves. With his debut novel, Alto GD Weirman is already carving out a place for himself in the annals of history. His mastery of over the typewriter shines through in every beautiful craft of sentence. The only question I have is this how can he possibly follow up this up? X of the helmsman. Uh, X of, of the Helmsman by JD Werman. Looks like Sally's read through it a couple of times already. I wonder what's so interesting about it. You have to free it. A wooden carving of a fish skeleton. If the windows weren't boarded up, you'd be able to see it from outside. It's Sally. She's fast asleep. <sighs> to be fair, it is four in the morning. I agreed to stay awake and see if anyone shows up. So far, nothing. I thought I heard something outside. Hello? Well, it's becoming greener. Sally, wake up. We have to go. Because there's an eerie green light trying to lure us outside. Yeah, that's a pretty good reason. I'll get up. Let's go, Sally! Alright, you move like this. Are you awake? I thought I was, but maybe not. Maybe this is my dream. It's not a dream. Hmm. That's exactly what Dream Grimoire would say. It's the stone top emblem, I guess. Looks like a snowman. It's not. Why would it be a snowman? All right, then. What is it? I think it's three stones stacked on top of each other. Oh, that actually does make more sense. It looks like it. The stone top inn. The best inn in Silkworm on Sea. It's the only inn. And therefore the best. 
It's a billboard for a theater. Baroness Fortuna presents Fortuna Hall. Performing tonight, Waylon Wolf. Oh, tonight? Yeah, we didn't come all this way to go to the theater. Also, the sign is several years old. A large stone statue on top of a fountain. It looks like a fisherman wrestling with some kind of dragon. It says right here, the silkworm serpent. It can't be a serpent. It has legs. Right? Right. Another abandoned building. Mr. Grip's Emporium. What do you think they sell? Currently, nothing. There's something in the water. What is it? I don't know, but whatever it is, is the source of the green light. Far deck. Looks like it originally said sea foam, but that got crossed out and now it says Mortuga. I'm getting mutiny vibes from this, I don't know about you. It's the wrong way around. What? Take another look at the case file. An old rowing boat. Or. Or what? Or. It only has one oar. Oh! An old wooden boy with a face. It's chained to the deck of the Mortuga submarine. There's a faint green glow in its eyes. This is where the green light was coming from. I noticed it started to fade as soon as we stepped onto the deck. So it's a boy that doubles as a lighthouse? The opposite, really. A lighthouse warns you to stay away. But this thing lured us in. Hmm. There's a chain connecting the buoy to the door. So when the foredeck is underwater, the boy floats up above it? That explains how we saw the green light before the submarine actually surfaced. So, this is the Mortuga submarine? According to the case file, yeah. And Mortuga is... He was the captain. Now, he's the murder victim. Okay, so where's the new captain? Good question. There's nobody here. The door's open, though. Somebody must have opened it after the submarine surfaced. Does that constitute an invitation? Ready, Sally? Well, we need to go inside. Parlor. What's at the bottom of the ladder? I can't see. It's pitch black. Should we go back up? Wait, I think there's a lever. Wow. What is that? Her. Her painting, a large painting of someone on being. It's set in an ornate wooden frame. The brass plate displays a single war. Her, unusually, it has been set directly onto the painting. There's something weird about this painting. What? The smell. It smells weird. <laughs> yeah, you're right. It smells like... It's kind of earthy. Damp. Well, it's an old painting. Old things smell. It's just weird because we're in a submarine that it smells like soil. I guess this is what lights up the room when you pull the switch. I wonder what they burned to make it pink. There's an old-fashioned speaker mounted on the wall. It's playing spooky music. It's the kind of music you'd hear at a fancy party for vampires. I hear it. But the vampires are all wearing masks, and there's one guy who's secretly not a vampire and... Sally. Mm hmm? A glass of wine. Ominously left half finished. Maybe the wine was corked. Ominously corked. There's a note I in think here. This door leads into the control room. I want to go into the control room. Well, you can't. It's locked. Look through the window. It's taped up on the other side of the door. You don't need to come in here. The crime scene is one floor down at the very back of the submarine, Captain Seafoam. Thanks for the directions, I guess. Do you get the sense that the captain is hiding from us? Yeah. Why would they do that? Hmm, and you cannot enter in there? Let's head to the crime scene. Oh, we need to go for here first. Mess hall. Playing cards. Looks like someone got dealt a bad hand. Oh, really? I have no idea. I just thought that would sound cool. Three tables, arranged into a Z shape. It's actually more like an S from this angle. Oh, maybe they were trying to write my name, but they ran out of tables. Sure. Pufferfish lamp. A timeless classic. Pots and pans for cooking. This looks like dead coral. Is coral ever alive? Coral are marine animals, dude. What? 
It's a big metal statue of a serpent. Uh, there is a cabinet built into it, but I think it's locked. Rotate the four dials into the correct arrangement. Nope. Four dials, with a window in the center of each one. Turning each dial rotates the shapes that appear in the surrounding windows. What do those numbers mean, though? That's not it. Some of the shapes might not be visible if they're not currently in the windows. But if you turn the dials all the way around, you can see what we're working with. I noticed the shapes are all triangles, squares, and uh, what's the one called with five sides? Pentagon. I wonder that there must be something that rest my brain. There must be something that shows to you. Wait. Are these windows or lights? Both. It's a good idea, since you'd never get any natural light down here. There's a metal sculpture of a serpent curving around the room. Better not touch it. It's probably a load bearing serpent. There must be something, right, that shows how to do that. Oh, I need to go to here. Illusion Teeter. Oh, this is where the guy died, right? Someone's taped a drawing to the wall. I think it's supposed to be a poster. Title here, Illusion Teeter. Baroness Fortuna presents Lady of the Looking Glass and Fortune Wall. Beyond anything I can imagine, conceive, but I don't know what to believe anymore. Book tickets. There's a little broken bottle on the floor. I'm guessing Mortuga dropped this when he died. A small glass bottle fell and smashed on the floor in the illusion to Some will know purple liquid. Uh, I spilled out the bottle. A small paper label on which someone has drawn a simple picture of a moon. A trail of blood. Looks like it came from the wound in Mortuga's neck. It runs straight down the room towards the back of the submarine. No, it doesn't. Not immediately. It pulls out first, then changes its mind. So, this is where Magnus Mortuga died. It's just like the case file said. He landed on his back with a cauldron at his feet. He was killed by getting cut across the neck, right? Yeah. You can see that's where the blood came from. But there's no weapon. No knife or anything. Nothing. The stool's been knocked over. Doesn't it look familiar to you? Sally, it's a standard wooden stool. I don't- It looks exactly like the bar stools in the stone top inn. There's a cloth hanging up on the wall. Are those footprints? The stargazing girl. A square uh, of fixed cell cloth found hanging up on the wall in the Lucia Theater. Footprints have been marked in the center of a circular imprint. Someone has painted the worst stargazing girl. Someone's hung up a banner with the words Illusion Theater painted on it. What's the illusion, I wonder? You know, I think this room's had some kind of rebranding. Rebranding from what? What was it before? Possibly nothing. A small room like this wouldn't normally have a name at all. There's, There's a, a wooden people. panel on the wall here. Can you see anything through that little hole? No, it's too dark. And this is the cauldron? Not quite what I was expecting. The case file said it had never been unlocked before. Yeah, it was open. This place gives me the creeps. That cauldron especially. I keep staring into it like I'm going to see something. But it really does seem to be empty. To quote from the case file, Motuga had locked himself in the room. It was later forced open, and the body was discovered. So Mortuga was alone in a locked room. A very small locked room. There really isn't anywhere for a murderer to hide. I'm not so sure. I think there is a hiding place. This. Right. Uh, so probably the cauldron? Uh. 
unlock Captain Mortuga, unlock the cauldron, and and because someone told him to. Magnus Mortuga unlocked the cauldron because someone told him to. Almost. Maybe just change one thing. Magnus Mortuga unlocked the cauldron and killed the person inside. Almost. Maybe just change. Hit something inside now in order to frame now. And was killed. Magnus Mortuga unlocked the cauldron and was killed by what was inside. Mm. Oh. I really don't think a person would fit in that cauldron. And didn't they say it had never been unlocked before? If that's true, there couldn't have been anyone in there. Right, I agree. I don't think it was a person. Then what? I don't know. But you have to wonder why it was kept locked in the first place. I'm guessing there was something pretty bad in there. <sighs> Look, Mortuga died from a cut across his neck, not from some vague paranormal entity. Unless you're suggesting it was a vague paranormal entity with a knife. Did you get a good look at the inside of the cauldron? There was something I noticed. There's this scratch. And the scratch marks. Chapter 1 The Curse in the Cauldron. Oh, any towns? All right. Like it can be interesting. It will. Uh, it's gonna be a a mystery uh, a game that you're gonna need to find out to kill Captain Mortuga. Uh, like uh, he, he was killed in there. We know that uh, it was closed and then it was forced open and he was dead. There is that cauldron that was say that was always uh, locked and uh, it was unlocked. They scratch. So it's like, was it a supernatural thing that killed or was someone? in that that came out and killed it's a matter of playing the full game to to know once it comes out but uh, it looks interesting because it's not your typical point and click like normally point and click is like you pick up items and then you interrupt you pick up the item interact with the with the environment see if it works this one no it's like you instigate uh, try to gather clues for you and then <clears throat> once you try they tr when they st start talking and then to to do uh how you can say that uh, thing of the mind, you need to put everything correct, like uh, pick up the clothes that you have and put in there and say kill, uh, lock or, or something and then another thing and say what happened to make the his brain, let's say like that, to uh, make a, a possibility of what happened. So it, it could be interesting, it's gonna be a, a mystery uh, point and click game. You don't walk, nothing like that. It's basically interact with the environment, go to the next one, and uh, go for the next one, try to get uh, gather some clues, and then probably there will be puzzles like that one, but I don't know how you solve that puzzle. Probably you can't even do on the on the dam. Probably you cannot even do. Only if you do at random, right? So, but yeah, but it has potential to be good. It will depend, again, this type of game from point and click and mystery games, it will depend a lot on story, how it progress. It will depend a lot on, on that. So if you want to try out, uh, you can download the demo. And if you like it, if you like this type of games, you can always wish list because it always helps the game and developers. So see you on the next one.